So we're gonna try to find some fish and turtles, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Bam. Hi, we are, are the, the lifetime, lifetime travel mates. mates. For the next few weeks, we are going to take you on a journey around Sri Lanka. Starting in Colombo, the capital of the country, we are going to explore our way down to the south coast. And we will slowly move to the mountains in the central highlands. Overcharging a little bit. We will be traveling by train, bus, tuk-tuk, jeep, bike and boat. On these adventures, we are going to experience the culture and history of Sri Lanka, the food, the spectacular beaches of the coast, the beautiful nature in the mountains, the popular tourist spots, we need to find a hostel, and some hidden gems. Backpackers life. Previously on Lifetime Travel Mates. Our flight landed in a hot afternoon and after picking up our luggage and withdrawing some Sri Lankan rupees, we are in Colombo, the capital city of the country. We got a first look at this bustling city while experiencing some new foods and explored the streets of Petra, an area famous for its markets and bazaars. It's chaos, it's loud, and red tuk-tuks, We also visited the popular and beautiful Red Mosque and the sacred Gangara Maya Buddhist temple. Colombo left a quite good impression on us. We were excited to explore what it felt like a whole new world full of new fruits and vegetables. And that was just the beginning of this adventure. from Colombo to Hikadua was incredibly beautiful. We saw the lush green forests, tropical trees, and the train track is along the coastline, so you can also enjoy the sea view from the window. After a less than three hours train ride, we finally arrived at Hikadua, a seaside resort town in southwestern Sri Lanka. We couldn't wait to go to the beach and jump into the water, but before that, we had to find our accommodation. I put up other way, when you open the gate, jumping. Ah. Hello, doggy. <laughs> doggy! <laughs> Later we play. Came by train? Yes. Oh. Very fast. Don't forget to check the Lifetime Travel Mates online merchandise store. Here you will find t-shirts, sweatshirts, accessories, and other cool stuff. All the designs are created by ourselves, inspired by our travel stories. These help supporting our channel, and all we make from the sales go straight back to the channel. Good morning. We are going to stay in this beautiful family-owned guest house, located a few meters away from the beach on the other side of the railway track. The location is great, since it's not on the main road, it is very quiet and homey. Leo. Every morning guests can enjoy this beautiful garden with flowers and coconut trees. But the best thing of staying in that place are the hosts. Body and his family, including their friendly dog Leo. Every day after a nice homemade breakfast, chatting for a while, Body took us to his favorite spot on the beach. Good morning. Good morning. We're going diving. Oh, sorry, no. We are going to snorkel. We're going snorkeling. This in the coral reef of the 
Picadua Beach. We have Alex here with us. Hello. 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 Love from Russia. Love from Russia. We love. We love, love from Russia. Perfect. <laughs> so we're gonna try to find some fish and turtles, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Kadua's coral reef, an abundant underwater ecosystem, makes it one of the best locations in the country for snorkeling. There are around 60 species of hard coral, along with over 170 species of tropical reef fish in the Fringing Reef at Hikadua National Park. The snorkeling experience in Hikadua is incredible. Even from the shallow part of the water, you can see so many different kinds of fish. Literally, you end up surrounded by a group of fish and it is an amazing experience. After hanging out in the water for about two hours, we got hungry. When we were about to take a break, Bodhi took us to a place where we could see something very special. Every day during low tide, the sea turtles come to the shore to eat seaweed. It was so exciting to see them so close and feed them straight from our hand, even though it was just for a few seconds. As soon as we got home, Buddy showed us how to hunt homegrown fresh king coconuts. Do you have helmet? <laughs> Leo! Ah, uh, not right? Not right, but we can try. Mm -hmm. Fine. Ah. Oh, yeah. Two I don't king think it's good. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Body, maybe up uh, to three. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a person. Every two months, there is a person who comes and brings down. Oh. Oh, yeah. The coconut no hunter. No, uh, you, you want it? No, yeah, yeah, no. But it turns out getting king coconuts from the tree is not as easy as we thought. So, just for the flesh, no liquid? Uh, liquid is there. Liquid is there. Come, come. Come, come. Normally, professional people. Bam, tuck, tuck. Bam, tuck, tuck. Bam, tuck, tuck. Very fast, but I'm not. Professional, no. Professional. Young, young, young. <laughs> ah. Ah. Okay. Nice. We are here to see the sunset, but the weather is not that great. Yeah, we're gonna be here for about an hour until the sunset finish, and then we maybe go home and take rest. And right there, 
Looking at that gorgeous sunset, we realized what a great first day we had in Hikadua. Exploring the town, snorkeling at the beach, and trying the unique king coconut of Sri Lanka. But we hadn't had dinner yet, so... This legendary local restaurant offers a huge variety of flavors of rotis and is loved not only by tourists but also by locals. Both of us were hungry and we couldn't wait to try one of the best food in town. First you can taste the garlic, then it's kind of salty and the pepper and the avocado. And there is also tomato inside. Very nice. And along with the roti, we ordered the Sri Lankan curry set menu. The combination of rice, well-cooked soft lentils, vegetable curry with coconut flavor, and crispy papadum made a perfect dinner to finish the day with a full happy stomach. The next day, we went early to the beach to do more snorkeling, but we didn't see any turtles, so we went to have some breakfast. We had some coffee and local food in a sea view restaurant. Having a meal with this beautiful scenery right in front of us was such a pleasure. After that, we took a walk along the beach and chilled for a while. The weather was super nice and since it was early morning, the waves were very calm and there was only a few people on the beach. We thought it was a good moment to try one last snorkeling here in Hikadua Beach. And we didn't know this would become one of the most memorable snorkeling experience in Sri Lanka until we met this friend. on the next episode of A Journey Exploring Sri Lanka. We are going to start our adventures in Unawatuna, searching for a secret beach through the jungle. We will visit the charming Dutch town in Gaul and hang out with an old friend whom we met in our trip in India. Then we'll move to one of the most beautiful beach towns in the south coast of Sri Lanka, Mirisa. And it's raining crazy. Thanks for watching till the end of this episode. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And share this video with your friends. If you want to support our channel and be part of our content creation, you can become one of our patrons or join our YouTube channel membership. Members can choose among different tires to support us. Each tire will unlock benefits and give you access to behind the scenes, early access to future videos, unreleased footage, and many more exclusive contents and perks. The music you hear in this series is provided by Epidemic Sound. It is a super helpful service for content creators who need copyright-free music. Epidemic Sound is a home for artists with excellent music quality and a big variety of genres and styles. Check the link on the description to get 30 days of free copyright music.